pretty much how clowns we are clowns did it. We'll wait and see. Sorry about the voice as well. I really do apologize for me having no voice. But I'm glad you guys are still here listening in and watching these fights with me. Ninety one percent so far guys is going on the way of We Are Cleanse. So if you have went for love and devotion and the guys win this battle, you guys are gonna get a hefty payout on these channel points. A hefty payout. Make sure guys if you are joining the giveaway C B Rivals, please do get yourself a follow. Turn that follow on. If you're not following, you can't win. That is just how it is. Okay, so same strat, let's see, same idea, got all the same setups. We got all these players still carrying bombards, eh? People still have bombards at this point in time. I have still one, but I've never been in a position to be using one. Are you a streamer? Do you want to get involved? Nerd of Life. Yeah, Nerd or Die, guys, is a great website, just so you know. Yeah, Clowns Wars won the first game, Bambino. You are right. You are correct in that one. Now, the time has come. That hopefully, this time, we work out and it works out well. We've got two ballistas on the wall that always has to be taken out from most. We are going to jump up here and then we're going to do this. Underway, here we go. Underway, underway, underway. We're going to stay, take a look out here from Striker's point of view. Can we see what Striker sees here? There we go. Oh, there we go. That ballista is down. Both ballistas are down, which means no hero kills off of the start. Still 50v15. Heroes are watching, just have a nosy. SX is just checking, see what he can see before doing anything. The same strategy come without any Falconetti gunners and without any use of artillery. Oh, there you go. Yen has picked up a kill. The first kill of the match goes to Yen versus SX. He must have came up onto the wall and got grabbed or stolen away. That's it. One down on the attack. And as a as a dual blade, it will be very difficult to try and keep yourself in and out, in and out. Like he's a great player, but yeah. So these siege towers will all meet by the looks of it. Javelin sergeants are trying their hardest here to try and take out the siege tower. Can they take any siege tower out of the game? I do. I'm not entirely sure if that will happen. The last cannon is taken off of the wall, and that is it. That's it done here. So now this is where Love and Devotion most likely where they all retreat back off the wall. Overlook has fell off the wall though. Has anybody noticed? Yes, they have. Dunko has noticed. Dunko's gonna try and knock him off and he keeps knocking him. There he goes. Overlook overcommits and falls off the wall unintentionally and dies. So that's one of his free lives out for no reason whatsoever. There was no need for him to even be on the edge, but he pushed him too far. The Almighty says this must be a we are clans at EU1. Mr. Deep Sense, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the clan. There we go. We're going to get A taken here. Ami is going to be having a wee nosy around to see what's there. SX is going to get the supply point up on the right hand corner, and Love and Devotion will set up here now for the rotation of Dassel Fort here. Where are they going to defend from? What points are they going to defend? Are they going to defend like we are cleansed on top of the stairwell and on the stairwell or are they going to be off of the stairwell? We'll wait and see. We've seen both both plans go and work out well. We are cleansed are going to have to have an interesting strategy here though because everybody's pushed that have failed so far on the attack have pushed in one way, in one direction. You've got we are cleansed all going towards this supply point area coming down the stairwells at B. E1 noob server. Best server? What do you mean? You've got Marcelo, Numchik, Samurai Kek W on B point and holding B point. You've got Mixu and 
Oh, we've got units. Yeah, this is it. They've kind of split a couple of heroes up either side. Flynn and M MXU are uh, staying on that right stairwell here, focusing up, just trying to be like we are here so that they have to keep heroes there on the deep end. Trying to overcommit members. If you can overcommit members anywhere, well, that's a very interesting treb. I, I don't know if that was a misplaced treb or it was just too far. It was probably just too far. He was trying to take the cab out just a little bit too far. We are clan sitting up on the wall though, trying to set up units here that can do some damage. We've got some javelin sergeants dealing some damage through the, the wall here, trying to get into the little archway, but with no avail. We've got still two heroes on that side. Still got six to seven heroes on this right hand side. Well, everybody else is on the left hand side. But this is it from Wheat Love and Devotion. Clever idea, just rotating around the center point here. Gives you option either way, depending on where the push comes in from. So we've got Imperial Spear Guards up here. They're getting used a lot more here. Solid defense, so a lot more defense strategies getting used for them. You've got Overlook using his bombs and the muskets to try and whittle down the defensive side structure here. We've got a couple of heroes, Silver Ox and Tesu moving around the corner here, just trying to deal some damage to their units. That's all it's about. They're using the ranged classes, longbows, Amia, Essex kicks here, using long range units, longbows, shortbows, muskets, everything just to deal units because there's no artillery. So that's the best way to kind of whittle down the units, maybe kill some units. As you get there, um, 13 trebs still available. Amius fell off the wall. I'm not entirely sure if that was intentional, but he uses his backflip to get out of there and he's back up on the wall again. We've got Nami, he's pushing quite far forward for the longbow, not gonna lie. That's a very interesting strategy. The treb comes in, but nobody is there. Now, nobody in the way of that treb, but just setting up here for the attack. All just holding off here. Got good sets of units here. On the wall. Palace guards. You've got javelin sergeants. Javelin sergeants trying to deal some damage down here. To any of the cav and any of the units down there. We've got Namcans. Is that Namcans? Namcans on the attack. Yeah, we've got Namcans and ball boys. Javelin with ball boys. Fantastic unit if you can uh, use it well and you can keep them out of danger. But yeah, they're all kind of still got a lot of them on the supply point area on the defense. Set of modals in the gateway there that stops anybody pushing for straight away to get onto the point. But we are clans are deciding to change it up. We've only got seven minutes, remember, it's not a long time. You have to cap B or C here. They're trying to do a full rotation around here though. Sending units both different directions here. It's gonna confuse them. They're going over the back wall here, and they're also going over the front wall here. Gonna go Push C from two different sides. Got to use trebs very well and cleverly here, but so far, four trebs have been used and four trebs have missed nothing. They've hit nothing with it. No damage numbers, no nothing. Very interesting, but we are clans are normally a lot better with their trebuches. Winkrow using a treb. A little bit of a better placement, I think, of this one is. We'll wait and see, but it does seem to be moved. Units are moving off of the point. The palace guards stopped moving there as well, and literally another mistreb. A very unorthodox treb, but mistreb. They're not pushing enough to be able to use these trebs well. I think that is the case. Now they're pushing down the stairwell. They're pushing both sides at the same time now. Both stairwells being trebbed. We're, uh, we're all trebbing now where the units might rotate to and from. Are these prediction trebs just not the right placement? They're definitely not in the right placement. We are clans just missing these trebs. So many chain chances, but so many missed trebs. I know it's to try and pull units off of it. Chimpy Fall, Samurai Kick, are you picking up that kill there? You've got Dunko, there's a lot of heroes on the attack dying there. We are clans are down to 11 on the attack. Again, picking up King Dinko. Fights both going on, but they are getting in here and around the back. SX, they don't have any units though. The units are all over the place. Iron Reapers are coming. But they're so slow, and their charge is going to miss. A lot of the units not going to get anywhere near it. They're going to get pushed off. There's only he eight heroes alive on the attack. Treb coming in, though, on the supply point. Will they be able to back off before this Treb comes in? 
Units coming in. Flynn's going to get his units of Iron Reapers trebbed as well. That might be devastating. Doesn't seem to have hit that many though. B is getting capped though. We're going to have to see a quick caps. SX, X, uh, SX is kicking. Oh, SX kicks. My God, my voice. I was trying to cap a little bit of B, but there's only nine heroes alive from We Are Clans, Love and Devotion. Defending well, whoever put predictions on for Love and Devotion, you guys might be getting a major payout at this point in time. We are halfway, five minutes left. They need to cap B or C here. Javamil has been killed in battle. Armageddon picks him up with a short bow. You've got some people over pushing GM, overlook over pushing here. Buffy also dies. In terms of deaths here, we're going to have to look at the strategy guide here. Seven heroes have only died. Eight heroes make that eight on the defense. Thirteen on the attack. But we're back to fifteen on the attack and twelve on the defense alive. We are clowns are setting back up on the B side for the next attack. Where are they going to do it? How are they going to do it this time around? Very difficult map without Falcon 80 Gunners, without artillery. Definitely. I thought I'd see a lot more Senjis used, a lot more bomb ball boys used. They're, they're there, but they're just not being used. Uh, not using the bombs, not getting the, the damage numbers. Flynn falls to his death here. There goes Tesho as well. But that was obviously just delayed because these fights are not going on. It's just now. There we are. We are, we are clans pushing once again, doing a similar strategy. Coming down the stairwell, Amiya is going to go onto that supply point and hold off the supply point as much as possible so they can't re establish units and re heal units. But they need to get onto that supply point as quickly as they can. They are doing a pretty good job of it here. Java will call in the treb on the stairwell, which is a great position for a treb. Treb hits the palace guards. That is a better treb this time around. We are clans pushing down the stairwell. They've gained a bottom of that stairwell here. And they have the unit advantage here. And hero advantage on the sea stairs as well. So what happens here? We're going to have to wait and see. 13 heroes left on the defence. They've got the numbers. The calf charge comes in. Calf charge is good. Pushes off the units here. And the heroes, Teso and Amya, on the supply point. They're holding the supply point as long as possible. While B is being capped. Dunko killing Yen here if he can to keep on the B point push. The supply point is being pushed off though and they're down to 11 on the defence. We are clans gaining the momentum here. 10 heroes versus 12 on the attack. They've got the supply point. Now they have to push towards either one of C the points C or B here to give themselves the momentum. They want to push past C and keep the units set up on C here and get up one of the points for that extra time. We're at 2 minutes 30. They need to do it now. They need to push past C. They're on C, they're capping it, but there's no units here. And the units are coming from Love and Devotion. Will they come or will they hold off? Looks like Love and Devotion are holding off the defence of it. So they're going to be able to grab B and C here. We Are Clowns did a great attack there on that. They pinched them from both sides and managed to get the units set up and take this whole control of the supply point. That supply point is key. If you can get the units stopped on that supply point and can't get heroes grabbing any units out, that definitely makes it a lot better for the attack to push. We are going to be getting extra minutes added here. This will push us up to around about eight minutes left for the attack. We are clans have time to kind of find out their strategy here for pushing the home point. They're going to grab the supply point on the top right hand corner here. But very good job done. I don't know what happened there. We're going to jump back to the supply point. Winkrow's trying to kill the units that are retreating here. That's a good amount of units to be taken out of the battle here. 523 units difference here as well. We're down a lot of units here for love and devotion. We are clans have the unit advantage and definitely need to push at some point here with the trebs. They've got seven trebs to use. Very open space here. How is this going to pay out? How is this going to work out? Um, you're picking up Elac here. 13 heroes alive on Love and Devotion side. We are cleansed. Seven trebs setting up both sides here. They've got the supply point. Units all kind of getting ready to set up here. 
We are clowns might have this still. They have time. They have seven minutes to push this. Essex with the Treb. Is the Treb going to come in nicely here and wipe out some of the units that are retreating back onto it? The units are staying. The Treb is coming, but it's a long distance to travel. It does pick up some units, but not as much as it would have hoped. 558 units. Getting a little cap in there. Palace Guards rotating back and forward here. This is a great fight. Flynn with another trebuchet. Where is this treb going to hit? A long treb. People have got to predict where this treb's going to go. You've got plenty of time. Javelin Sergeant's wet on down units as well. Treb doesn't really connect to very much there. Overlook making sure he stays off of the point. The fight is on the point just now. We've got GM falling to his death from Essex. Palace Guards on the point though to hold that cap so nobody can cap it. The Java Mill coming in from the back, along with Burning, Kage, and are they going to get units in here quick enough to be able to push in here? Fort Brasho on the defence here. We are clowns are pushing forward with the ISGs. They're slowly pushing this death box forward onto the point. They're gaining momentum onto the point, on the home point here. Well, they also push in here from the left hand side. Palace Guards being used very well here against Fort Brasho. The Fort Brasho moving behind. And are ready to pull off the units. We are clowns. Have the number advantage on the home cap. They have so much units and heroes on the cap. Now this is all about getting the pinch in. Getting the trebs in place. And this will be we are clowns fight if they can hold them off here. Very great push here. Very well organised from EU one side. We are cleansed, are capping, couple of heroes alive, there's only he or he eight heroes alive from We Are, uh, from we are uh, Love and Devotion, excuse me, Octavian, staying on as the short sword, he pops out inside, he will stay on there for as long as possible, Giaz, staying on as long as possible, but they're going to be able to cap off the supply, the reinstall of units, four heroes alive. We are clowns are capping and that looks like we are clowns will pick up the victory on the attack. They have well done. What a fight that was. The difference, a couple of hero kills, 15 hero kills difference for we are clowns. Also about 300 unit kills difference as well, which makes a massive difference in terms of that. Great trebs near the end, better trebs later on. It was a very good strategy, as you can see. We are clans using the ISGs, using the strong defence, pushing the, the the death boxes forward, and just slowly pushing. There's not, there was no rush. As soon as they got B and C, the good, the good pinch uh, on the supply point there. It was looking rough, but they did push from two different directions, done both stairwells. Great job of it. Managed to push the momentum with a hero advantage, and grabbed the supply point and. Stop the reinforcements of uh, love and devotion.